How are you guys doing today? T Dog here. I wanted to do a little quick video on my little survival pouch for my fishing bag when I go fishing. I usually hike in two miles and then hike in, hike out two miles, and uh, depending on where I'm going fishing that day, maybe another mile uh, to get out there. So I got a little survival pouch on my um, on my fishing bag here, and I just kind of wanted to go over it with you guys just for you know just for fun. Uh, first of all, I want to apologize for not making more videos and putting them out there. I got quite a few subscribers. I got a few subscribers who are like, hey man, we want to see more stuff. Well, I've been busy trying to look for a job and I've just had a hell of a time, so that's been taking up my time 24-7. But I finally got my shit in order and hopefully good things will come out of it. So, But I just kind of want to post this just for fun. Um, so, anybody who does any type of hiking, you know, uh, uh, fishing, I mean, you guys have heard this feels before. You always have a little survival pack with you. So, I'm going to show you what's in mine. Uh, it's just in this little utility pouch right here. And I got some cool stuff in there. First of all, I got a little bit of, bit of water in there just for shits and giggles because I had, you know, I had space for it. Um, let's see, I got... Uh, this thing's real cool. This is the Trek 1. Um, cool Hands? Uh, I can't pronounce that. It's too fucking cold out here. Anyway. Um, this thing has a lot in it. I mean, this thing has a ton. I mean, this thing was like 10 bucks, but it's got a ton of stuff in it. It's got iodine, fucking sterile pads, band-aids, gauze tape. I mean, it's got a lot of crap in here. So that, that's, that's, that's pretty cool. That was a nice buy. Let's see, I got a pencil that I stuck down. Um, this is more kind of an urban survival thing, but if you had to fix your gear, this is made by the Sharper Image. It's, uh, it just has a little flashlight on the front of it. It's got bits in here. Um, that you can put into the bottom, uh, fix whatever gear you have. I just thought that was cool, so I just threw that in there. Not really kind of a practical thing to take with you, but you know, just in case. Um, I got another flashlight, which is shoddy at best, <laughs> but you could always use a nice little flashlight. I'm probably going to replace this because this thing is, um, it's been in here forever, but yeah, I think it's, uh, I don't think it's very reliable, so I'm going to have to probably replace that. Let's see, I have directions and <laughs> how to use uh, a compass. I got a good compass in here. I got directions on how to use uh, this compass. I've used it quite a bit. Uh, it's really accurate. Um, pretty inexpensive buy. I just have the directions for it, just in case I, for whatever reason, forget what the hell I'm using or how to freaking use it. So, but I mean, shit, that's always good to have, right? Let's see, I got a multi tool. Just your um, regular standard multi-tool. Nothing really special about it. Uh, steel construction. That's why I got it. Got a pen. Maybe to write down more stuff if you need it. I've got a nice um, uh, chef field knife. This is a rescue knife. It's got the what do you call that? The um, glass breaker, seat belt cutter. Um, when you fold it back, it's got the bottle opener on this side. Uh, nice knife. Uh, I really like that. Uh, so I threw it in there. Nice heavy duty construction. Carry a lighter with me. You know, in case you got to start a fire. Get stuck out there after dark. Always carry one of these with you. In fact, carry two or three with you. I also um, have one of these little fellers. Uh, this also has a compass on it. Uh, it's waterproof tight, so you can um, put your matches in there. Now, the thing on the side here is supposed to be where you can strike your matches, but I've never ever had one of these work ever for me, so I disregard that thing at, you know, at all times, pretty much. And it's got a little whistle on the end of it if you really get hurt and you need help right away. Uh, let's see. Oh, I got a little um, tin cup that coincides with my little super tiny cooking stove. This thing is super badass. Um, if you guys haven't seen these, they're really cheap to get and you have at least something to cook on um, without having to build a big ass fire. So this thing's, this thing's really cool and I got some spare fuel tablets for it too. That's pretty much what I take with me when I go fishing. If I was going further in, maybe five, six miles, um, or not five or six, maybe like uh, three to four miles in and three to four miles out on foot, I would carry a much bigger pack with me with a much bigger kit, but for right now, this is what I'm rocking. So uh, that's pretty much what I carry in there. And, 
you know, I like it. It's uh, pretty much got all your major essentials in it, besides food, but, um, I put this, really, man, I put this thing together for maybe, I don't know, 40, 50 bucks, but that's 40, 50 bucks that you don't have to fucking worry about. If you get into trouble, you know what you got, so that's good. You should keep, you should either, you know, keep one of these in your car at all times, or, you know, take it with you every time, you know, you go out to go have some fun fishing, or you know, hiking, whatever. So, that's pretty much it for my video, and, um, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for subscribing. I think there's like 15 of you guys now. <laughs> that's cool for me. <laughs> so, at least I think that's pretty cool. If you guys have any suggestions, anything like that, um, you know, hit me up, just for shits and giggles. Um, I'm gonna go over my fishing bag some other time, but it's a fishing bag. I mean, all I carry is just stuff. So, I'll go over that some other time, though. Uh, you're probably wondering what this is, though. I'm going to do a separate review about this. This thing, this is a really cool item that I picked up at Cabela's. And, oh, it's just going to make fishing so much more fun when I'm out there. So, but I'll go over that some other time. Other than that, man, you guys stay safe, keep prepping, and, uh, you know, we'll see you later.